Hello, how are you guys? I'm so excited to be here at the Weir Library. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a paramedic and also an author, and I'm here with a special guest. In fact, I'm here with two special guests. I'm here with my pet, Toto, and my friend, Zach. How are you today, Zach? Good, good. Uh, uh, just be sure you just came here so you already know how I'm doing. I do, I do. So Zach and I are so excited today because we are going to share a story. In fact, we're going to share two stories with you today, and they're all about me and this cat. And it's a true story, and it's called Toto the Tornado Kitten. Poor Toto. Now, Toto is poor Toto, but you'll, we'll learn about his story that he turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to come here. We'll read these stories. I'm the author of the book. There's another person, the illustrator. Her name is Carol, and she writes all the pictures in the book. And I want you to pay attention, Zach, because as we go along, there's pictures of Toto in the book. But you know what? There's a picture of me in the book, too. So oh, let's see if we can I, find I out just, where I am. I just finished that book, so I already know what's going to happen. Hmm. Meanwhile, I'll be getting cute little Toto. Well, let's read it to all his fans. How about that? Yeah. All right, so let's go to the first page of Toto the Tornado Kitten. Mm -hmm. And the book, it says... My name is Toto the Kitten. And do you remember I told you the illustrator draws the pictures in the book? And yeah. do you think that she did a pretty good job about yes. making Toto yes, I think she did a good job look too. just <laughs> like this kitty cat, huh? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. He looks so cute. I was born in the woods in a small town called Brimfield. I lived happily in the woods and meadows with my mother. And there's a kitty cat with a, t a butterfly on his tail right there. How silly is that? That's Toto That's right so there. Cute. Toto's so cute. One day, a big storm called a tornado came along. Oh, no. The sky got darker and darker. It started to rain, and the wind began to blow. Oh, and can you see there's a big tornado coming? But look, there's a tiny little kitten right down That's there. Toto. That's Toto. He, I bet he's afraid, but I think he's going to be okay. Let's find out what happens there. Poor little kitty, kitty, kitty. It was so windy that I got blown all the way into the top of a tree. Oh, no. My home in the forest was gone. Lots of other people and animals lost their homes, too. It was quite a mess. Meow, I cried out. Won't someone please come help me? Oh. It was getting dark, and I was stuck in a tree. And can you point for everyone where Toto is? Can you show them? <laughs> That's Toto right there. That's that cat up in a tree. A call was put out for help. Ambulances, fire trucks, police cars, and bucket trucks rushed to the scene. A very nice man who was helping to clean up all the trees in the forest found me. I knew that I would be okay. And sometimes people think that's me, but that's not me, so keep an eye out for me in the book. <laughs> he brought me to the fire station. A special group of people were there helping all of the other animals like me who had lost their homes. Meow, I cried out. I was so cold and hungry. I was taken by the nice people to a special hospital for kittens so I could get better. I was so tiny that I had to drink milk from a baby's bottle. Oh, that's so cute. Now, do you remember, Zach, I told you that this is a true story? It's not a made-up story. I want to show you some pictures of Toto the day that we found him. Can you see how tiny he was? He was so tiny that he would fit in my hand. Do you think he would fit in my hand now? No. Then he got a lot bigger, didn't he? Can, 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 can you take multiple pictures of that, Mommy? Next, I stayed at the animal shelter, a place for kittens like me who need a new home. I began to grow and get bigger. They were very, very nice to me. I got to eat as much as I wanted. I had lots of yummy food. And what do you think cats like Toto like to eat? What do you think? Cat food. Yes. <laughs> and what do they like to drink? Uh, milk, obviously. Milk. So Toto likes all those things. But you know what? He likes to eat people food, too. So he likes to eat... Uh, fruit. He likes to he eat likes fruit, yeah, Twizzlers, and, he, and, he especially and Doritos, car rides. and he likes he car rides, and he, and he likes food. to eat bananas and strawberries and kiwi fruit. So we just found that out. Keep, and cucumbers are his keep, favorite. Keep, 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 keep. Let's find out what happens here. Yeah. When people heard about my amazing story, they wrote me lots of letters and cards. I, would do the same I was so even though. on TV. I was a superstar. And do you think the idea of a kitty cat on television is silly? How about if I show you this picture of Toto being on the TV? How about that? How silly is that? A cat on television. Oh, 
I think he speaks. We'll find out here. Oh, 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 um, um, to, to be sure, if I we need a letter to tell to him, I need your address. And I know We're going to chat about that, I promise, in just a little bit. Oh. All right. Finally, the day came when I was ready to leave. I had met lots of nice people, but I wanted a nice home that I could call my own. One day, a nice couple came and chose me to go home with them, and guess what? They took me back to Brimfield, where my journey began. And you're right, there's somebody in the book driving a truck with a hat on and a cat on their lap. Who do you think that is? You, you, That's you. right. That's the best part about writing a book, is you get to be in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, each day in my new home is fun and exciting. I chase cat toys, I take long naps, and I love to sit on laps. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to sit with us, doesn't he? Yeah. I get to go for car rides to visit my friend, Dr. Michelle, at the animal hospital. She makes sure that I'm growing up to be big and strong. So yeah. just like you go to the doctor, Toto goes to the doctor, too. Do you know what the kind of doctor that takes care of animals is called? Um, hold on, I need to get my memory. Um, animal dentist? It's a dentist is your teeth, but it's a veterinarian. Veterinarian, or a vet. yeah. Good job. Awesome. And this is Dr. Michelle, and she's oh, a veterinarian. Hopefully, hopefully saying vet don't get <laughs> Sometimes when it's quiet and I'm alone at my new home, I get sad. I miss my mom and my old home. I hope she knows I'm all right. It's okay to miss the things that you love. But, but now, now I have, I have a, a forever home, home where I'm very, very happy. No more tornadoes for me. The end. You are the best helpful reader today. Good job, my yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. So do you want to help me? I wrote some things down and maybe you can take some guesses. And you can see, and you can see, and I wrote the answers down. I'll ask you the question and see if you know okay. the answer. How about that? I am obsessed with cats. <laughs> As many of you may know, I am in love with cats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. So how many pounds do you think Toto is? We weigh things, we weigh things and people in pounds. Um, how many pounds do you think that he is? I know that cats are heavy, so maybe 15 pounds? You are such a good guesser, but guess what? He's 12. 12! So you are pretty good. You are pretty close. I, I mean to be rude, but Toto is very heavy. He <laughs> is a little heavy, but oh, he's I not see too that. bad. Uh, oh, this is a different one. How about if we were going to measure him from his nose to his tail? How many inches do you think he might be? Um, how far is an inch? An inch? Well, I brought a tape measure, I think. I have a tape measure. So we could show you what a tape measure is, show you what an inch is. So this is a tape measure. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Yes, that's okay. How many inches do you think? Do you want to help measure him? Yeah. See if we measure him. Let's put this yeah. on his nose. <laughs> and then you put that on his tail over there. You put the end on his tail. He thinks that the bag is food. I know. So go ahead and put that on his tail. Here? Yeah, let's see how many inches he is here. I got to there. Do you know what number this one is here? Um, hmm. um, I don't see it. This one here? So I'll tell you how many inches he is. He's 33. 33 inches. Good job. And I know what the next one is. Eight years. Yeah, but he's changed. That's an old one. So how about this? How many whiskers do you think he has? Uh, hold on. Um, I need to count. Um, one. Uh, turn off. Come face the cute boy. <laughs> He actually has 24 whiskers. 20, what? 24 whiskers. And how many years old do you think Toto is? Um, well... How old are yeah, you? Oh, 10. So it must be around 10. Guess what? Ten. He's 10 years old. Oh, oh, and spoiler, Mommy told me that I was a month old when that happened to him. You... <laughs> spoiler So word. we learned all sorts of things. We learned that he's 33 inches that we measured him, that he's 10 years old, right? And, and we learned that he has 24 whiskers and that he has another book, which we're going to read in yeah. one minute. And it's called, Oh Toto, Where Did You Go? by Jonathan Hall. That's me. And, and illustrated by Carol <laughs> That's exactly who it is. But before I read the other book, I want to talk to you about one more thing. Yeah. So we get mail. You ask where Toto lives. So we, what town, do you remember what town we live in? Brimfield! Brimfield! So right near Francesco. 
tacos. That's it, exactly. I, I love pizza. You're a pizza fan. Toto likes pizza too, I bet. Toto likes pizza. So we get mail sometimes. Do you know that people write to Toto? So if people write to Toto, they write to Toto the Tornado Kitten in Brimfield, Massachusetts, and zero, that's our zero, zip code. One, one, zero, one, zero, Do you want to reach in? Let's see, reach into his mailbag and let's see what Toto has got for mail this week. So Toto gets letters and it says Toto the Tornado Kitten, Brimfield, Mass. And Toto writes back to everyone that writes to him, which is pretty neat. Aww, so let's read in one of the letters. Let's see what somebody wrote to Toto this time. Do you want to open it and see what it is? Yeah. That's it. And then who's it from? Anna. It's oh, you want to oh, hold oh. it up so everyone can show? Oh, and Toto has a big head. So that's a picture that Toto that was written to Toto from Anna. Pretty neat. Can I do the honors again? Let's see what else we have here. How about that? Let's open another one here. This is Toto the Tornado Kitten. Brainfield Mess. That's it. And we'll, there's another letter in here. Let's see what the letter says here. Uh, People write pictures here. Oh, look. Hi, Toto. I love you. I love you in the morning. I love you with my mommy. Let's Aww. hold up the picture. Do you want to hold it up so everyone look. can... Let's hold this. I'll help it up. And then you hold up. It looks like somebody wrote a picture, too. Huh? Pretty neat. Wait. Uh, <laughs> what is this? Well, hold it up. People write all uh -huh. sorts of different pictures there. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. So Zinnia, Zinnia did that picture. Let's see if we can find something else down here. <laughs> Maybe there's one more letter in here for Toto here. Let's see what we got here. This is from Toto the Tornado to Toto the Tornado Kitten here. Do you want to open this one and see what it is? Yes. Let's see what it is. Toto likes getting the mail. He walks down to the mailbox and gets mm -hmm. all the mail and he likes getting it. Oh, this one's a big one. It's a big one. You want me to hold oh, it up? Toto, Toto. I've read all of your books and I love them. What is your favorite color? And what is your favorite thing to do outside? And do you like the tree or, or sun? What is your favorite animal? I love you. Let's hold it up so everyone can see here. So people write all sorts of different pictures and letters to Toto. This one had a question. Do you know what the question was? Let's see what the question was. The question here. was... What is your, your favorite, favorite color? color? What is your favorite thing to do? What is your favorite thing to do outside? And do you like the shade or sun? So Toto likes the sun. He loves to sit in the sun like most cats do. Oh. His favorite colors are the colors that he is. What colors is, is he? Uh, black and white. Perfect. So those is Black beautiful. and white, like and a normal TV show. Favorite thing to do outside is to go around and chase bugs. So yeah. he goes out on a leash and he loves to chase bugs. So Espec if you, especially flies, especially flies. Who doesn't like flies and butterflies and moths? But he doesn't do very uh, good at catching them. So if you're at home and you want to write to Toto, you can write to Toto the Tornado Kitten in Brimfield, Mass. Zero one zero one zero, and I'll Toto writes all his I'll letters. Go you're going to get some paper and letters. So while Zach is gone, I want to tell everybody about what's going on in the library. There's so many fun things to do here in the Ware Library. Um, the librarian is awesome, and she's got some great new books here, which is pretty neat. One of the books is called Dewey, the Library Cat. And just like the Toto book is, is true story, this is another true story all about a cat that lived in a library. And there's three different kinds of this book. There's a children's book. There's an adult book and there's a teen reading book, which is pretty cool. So you could check this book out. There's another book we got called Cone Cat, and I haven't read Cone Cat yet, but I think Toto is read, would like Cone Cat. Have you read Cone Cat yet? No, no I didn't. All right, so maybe on the Zach and Jonathan episode, the next time we'll read Cone Cat. What do you think? Uh, sure, but hold on. I just need to ask one question. All right, sounds good. So Zach's going to take off and read a question. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to just talk real quickly about this one more book that we're going to read that Zach and I are going to read together. And it's called Oh Toto, Where Did You Go? And while to my friend Zach, do you want to come back and we'll sit here? Uh, sure. I was just asking Mommy which shape is the letter. Okay, no problem. We're going to write letters to Toto later on. Like maybe we can do it together. Where we can figure out, and then he's excited to get some mail from you. He likes getting mail. Do you like getting mail? Yes. One time, Mommy actually wrote a letter to the president. That's awesome. Did the president write back? Yes. Perfect. Sounds good. Yay. Well, you'll get people that write to Toto get a letter back, but it's not from a president, but it's from a famous cat. Boy, um, 
How how does Toto learn how to write? So how does he learn to write? It's a secret. I help him a little bit, but it's pretty good. Is that the secret? That's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> So do you want to hear one more book before we end our book show today? What do you think? Yes. 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 So this yes. is another book. What's the title of the book, Zach? Help me out. Oh, Toto, where did you go? Oh, Toto, where did you go? Oh. And this is another true story, Zach, and it's all about the places that me and Toto go, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And it's a rhyming book like Dr. Seuss books, oh, Toto, which they have in the library, to which to are you. pretty cool. And I'm in the book, and Toto is in the book, too, which is pretty cool. And I think that you might be in the book, too. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the book and read it. We'll move all our stuff out of the way here. And the book is called, Oh, Toto, Where Did You Go? And let's find out where Toto goes in real life. You ready? Yes. All right, here we go. I bet he goes to the park. You, where do you think he goes? Here. Park, park, park. The park? He goes to lots of places. Let's find out. You ready? When I woke up this morning, I knew something was wrong. The bedside was empty. My friend Toto was gone. Aww. He had packed up his leash and t taken some food, but not left a note, which I thought was quite rude. I'd set out to find him. I'd search high and low. Oh, Toto, I thought, where on earth did you go? I bet down and here. Let's find out all the places that he goes. Pew, 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 pew. I stopped at the coffee house, which was quite near. I asked the nice lady, has Toto been here? Oh yes, she said, smiling, hmm, let me see. Oh, now I remember, he had catnip tea. Catnip tea. He had been in for breakfast and finished his snack. He said his goodbyes and went right out the back. Look, Toto's taking a nap. He is taking a nap. Aww. My friends at the bank said he brought in some change. A cat at the bank, cried one lady. How strange. <laughs> he deposited some cash, three dimes and a dollar. Give the money to the shelter, read a note tucked in his collar. The tellers gave him some treats while he sat on the floor. Then he got up and stretched and went right out the door. Ah, Toto, you so So I work at a fire station and Toto gets to come with me to the fire station. The fireman said he'd stopped in for a chat. That's no ordinary pet there. He's our mascot, Cat. The first time we met him, he was so tiny and small. But look at him now, so handsome and, and tall. tall. He had helped out with chores and sat with them all. But when the fire bell rang, he, he went, went out on, on a call. call. Good job. You're the best co-reader I've had in a long time. Hey, I can still see clearly without my glasses. Perfect. At the nice nursing home, he sat with nanas and grandpas, next to wheelchairs and walkers, sitting pretty on all paws. They cooed and they chatted, they spoiled him rotten, and showing his thanks, he rubbed each with his noggin. Okay. Thanks for having me by, I'll come back quite soon, but I have to head out now for an appointment at, at noon. noon. What kind of building are we in? Where are we at today? Here. We're, at the, We're at the library, which is pretty cool. Do you think Toto goes to the library? Yes. Of course he goes that to the librarian. Oh, oh, the library. Oh, oh. oh, that reminds me. That reminds me. Yes. When's the next time that you're going to be here? We are going to figure it out. We'll be back real soon, I promise. <laughs> the librarian told me he'd stopped in for a look. He sat with the children while they read him his book. It was the story of a kitten blown into a tree and all the people who helped him until he came home with me. When story time was over, he said, I have places to be. He cleaned off his whiskers and said, I'm going to be on TV. I'm going to be on TV. <laughs> and do you see that this book here, in this book, is the same book right it here. Look at that. Shows that Toto is a, a, a TV. The book right there. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. The postmaster told me he brought in some mail, so many packages, even one tied to his yeah. tail. tail. <laughs> <laughs> he mailed out his books to each Toto fan to Vermont and to Boston and even Japan. Japan! When the books were all sent, he thanked them a bunch, then headed out back to meet someone for lunch. Is that you? I bet it's you. I, bet I don't it's know. You. Let's find out where he goes next. The whole school. Do you take a school bus to school? Um, I used to, but now I do, uh, the, the home... Schooling? Yeah. Have you ever, did you ever see a kitty cat on your school bus? Huh? Sometimes, that's Toto? That's Toto. Sometimes he gets on the school bus. How silly is that? Hey, Toto, I hope you go on my school bus. <laughs> 
The whole school was there when Toto arrived on the bus. An appearance by Toto always caused a fuss. He taught each of the students about being kind to their pets, how important it is to treat all with respect. He wandered through classrooms and sat for a spell and left on a mission at the sound of the bell. It sounds like you know this book better than I do, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever go to the gym or the YMCA? Have you ever been to the YMCA? Yeah, uh, well, swimming I have. Yeah, did you ever see a cat there at the YMCA? No. You go to the wrong YMCA because <laughs> Toto loves to go to the YMCA. Which one? Which one? Which one? He goes in Wilbraham. You might see him there. He remarked to his friends at the YMCA, visiting the gym is the best part of my day. He watched people stretch, lift things, and run. Silly humans and thoughts. Cats do all that for fun. After doing cat yoga, he strolled out the door. Thanks for the workout. I'll be back soon for more. He had gotten a ride to the television station so he could tell his great story to all Toto Nation. Sitting upright and proud, he talked to the host. What a very special tale. You're the cat with the most. Yeah, you're the cat with the most. Thanks for giving me time to share my great story, but I have to head out now. I'm really quite sorry. By the end of the day, I was sad and alone. Still missing my best friend, I headed back home. But when I got to the house and opened the door, I found Toto quite happy, asleep on the floor. Now, I'm going to read the last part, and then you finish the last line. What do you think? So I'll read the Yay. first couple lines, and you'll read the last one together. Yeah. So first of all, who do you think this is in the book? Me. That's the best part about yeah, writing a like book. Yes. a little bit different. A little bit. Like, like you have, like, like, like those little dimples over there. That's right. <laughs> This person's a little more handsome than me. <laughs> All right, here we go. You're going to help me read the last line. I'll read the first three lines together. And this is a fun thing to do if you're reading a book with an adult. You can do this at home. You ready? And a kid and a cat. And a cat. Perfect. You ready? And me. Of all the places I went when I got out to Rome, I found the best place to be... It's right here at home. It's right here at home. How good was that? That was a lot of fun storytelling, yes, huh? it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So what did we learn about Toto today? How we many... learned about Toto. That Toto was lonely in the beginning, but then he found a, a little home where he got to be cute forever. That's awesome. What else did we learn? How many whiskers did he have? Do you remember? Twenty-four. Exactly. And how many inches was he? Um, twenty. Thirty-three. And how many years old is he? Uh, ten. Good job. And do you remember how much he weighs? Uh, twenty-two. Twelve pounds. Twelve pounds. Good job. I'm so excited I got to come to the library, Zach. Thanks for helping me read. Story yes, time is awesome. Yes, yes. What books are you going to read next? Uh, I honestly do not know because I have to go back to my daddy's like in a few minutes. But in the meantime, I get to spend rest of my time with Lou. Mm, that's the best part of the day. Do you want to give him a kiss before we get going here? If you stand up, he'll give you a kiss here. And he'll say goodbye to everybody here. Turn it. You ready here? There you go. Go ahead and you can give him a kiss right here. He loves giving upside down kisses. He'll put his paws right on your forehead. <laughs> How Just silly is that? <laughs> awesome. So we were so excited we got to come to the Ware Library. This is a great library and hopefully we're going to be doing story time in person soon. We'll be back and Toto will be able to be visiting with everyone. But in the meanwhile, you can go on Toto's Facebook page and his website, Boy, and you can find out... He has a Facebook page. I would, I would scatter all over his pictures. <laughs> so you could do that with an adult. You could go onto his Facebook page, and you could see all the pictures of where Toto goes, which is pretty exciting. What's the name? What's the username or whatever? So it's Toto the Tornado Kitten on Facebook. I think that's it. I don't have it. Somebody else helps me run it. And he has a Facebook page and a website, too, which you can go to with an adult. We had quite a good morning, didn't we? Yes, we had a good, quite a morning, especially with Toto. It could not get any better. That's what I agree. A morning with Toto and book readings are awesome. So we're so excited you got to join us here at the Ware Library. 
Hopefully you'll be able to come and visit some of their programming which is coming up this summer. You can check on their website and Facebook page. Yeah. And hopefully Toto will be back here soon in person for everybody to visit. So do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye! Bye everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Bye!